We have station select, upper or lower, fore and aft. Synchronization, all engines together, one, uh, two through four engines, all the same RPM. Uh, trim here. This is individual trim, master trim on the handle. So this is all engines. Okay. Now, this handle here is only for two engines. You have three or four auxiliary panel for those. Slow speed operation provides only half throttle, so much more control for you know small movements and jerk. Warm. Okay, we go into warm. Okay, now that is throttle only, no shift. So for cold weather or for maintenance. When you are in this position, neutral, you have the neutral lights. Okay, light says you're in warm. Light here says this is the active control. So, out of warm. Cannot go into sync in neutral. It says no. Blank, blank. If I come into gear, then both ahead, the it will go into sync. If I sit here, it'll eventually go out. So if I go into gear here, into gear here, now we're in sync. There, there. That came both the neutral, goes out of sync automatically. Uh, again, we did slow, and then the plus and the minus is trolling or cruise control because it works at any range. range. So you can be 4,000 RPMs, bump, bump, up, up, or down. This works when it's already in operation, so uh, no warm operation. No slow operation. That's so right. Just press the buttons, it's increase or decrease. Now you have to be just out of idle range for that to work. So, uh, hey Matt. Oh, who's okay? But. If I come on, it's going to say something's not right. So it's telling me, wait a minute, handles are not in neutral. Yeah. Come back. <laughs> okay. So that's a, some of the warning. Some of the safety features on it are there. That it says no. Nope. So blinking light and horn if it's very bad, or just blinking light if it says no. Nah, I'm going to wait and do that later. <laughs> <laughs> but if we were here in gear. It will start, but it will not be in engaged. engaged. Okay. So. And see, it gave me an error. Wait a minute, what are you doing? So. Turn off. Uh, body question. Okay. And of course, we have master trim. Just one button. Or individual. Why would you trim an individual? Uh, sometimes the boat will ride off, okay. so to... by trimming you can bring it level. Okay. Yeah. Especially boats that don't have trim tabs on them, and this one doesn't have trim tabs on yeah. So some bigger boats will have trim tabs that you can do that with, but if it doesn't have trim tabs, you do it with motor trim. <laughs> or if you have, a, have an engine go down, you can trim it up and run on one just to get back. Normally you'd probably leave it down. But. So, you know, you, you can see we have, I'm, I can just bring one up. And so you can just run off the, the other. Mm -hmm. And in this position, so once you get attitude adjustment on the boat, this button just moves them wherever they are. So you see here, I'll go up, they go together. I see, that's interesting. Yeah. Because right. once you set you want to keep your trim, it. you want to keep it that uh, you way. You want
This boat also has NME 2000 on it. So it's got analog up here, and it's got digital down here. So it's picking up all the engine data. Uh, when we're underway within the ECOMO range, right now this is saying that we're in neutral. When you come into gear and move ahead, once you're in ECOMO range, a little green eco light will come on in that spot right there where it says neutral. So we have engine temperature, which is the cooling temperature of the engine, um, trim position, uh, voltage, RPM, and speed. Down in the center, it's showing us the amount of fuel we're burning here and how far we've gone. You can look at them in different different kind of screens.